the National Weather Service in Columbia has issued a tornado warning for Berkeley County in southeastern South Carolina, eastern Orangeburg County in central South Carolina, until 6.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler Radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado over Indian Field, or 5 miles southwest of Holly Hill, moving southwest at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, Radar Indicated Rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter, mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed, damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur, tree damage is likely, locations impacted include, St. George, Harleyville, Reevesville, Spring Hill, Sandridge, Mount Zion, Hudson Town, Black Creek, Hussertown, Rosenville and Giant. This tornado warning includes Interstate 95 between mile markers 75 and 116, Interstate 26 interchange between mile markers 182 and 156. Tornadoes are nearly impossible to see and confirm at night. A tornado may already be on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Immediately move to a place of safety and protect yourself from flying debris. until 11.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following... The National Weather Service in Charleston has issued a tornado warning for portions of Colleton County in southeastern South Carolina, Dorchester County in southeastern South Carolina, until 6.45 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.58 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed tornado was located near Branchville, or 9 miles east of Bamberg, moving west at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of north central Colleton and northwestern Dorchester counties. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are nearly impossible to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in Charleston has issued a tornado warning. A hurricane watch remains in effect until 11.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties or areas. All of South Carolina, all of North Carolina, and the following counties. Flash flood emergency for North Central Lexington County. The National Weather Service in Columbia has issued a flash flood warning for North Central Lexington County in Central South Carolina, Southeastern Newberry County in Central South Carolina, Northwestern Richland County in Central South Carolina, until further notice. At 6.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, emergency management reported a breach to the Saluda Dam on Lake Murray 10 miles west of Irmo. Flash flood.
flooding of immediate surrounding areas may be imminent. Move to higher grounds now. Act quickly to protect your life. Locations impacted include Columbia, Burma, Winsboro, Blitherwood, Chapin, Ridgeway, Little Mountain, Peak, Winsboro Mills and Lake Murray of Richland. Move to higher grounds now. Administrative message. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Do not return home. Most of the state of South Carolina has been completely destroyed by Hurricane Laura and is considered uninhabitable. For those who have evacuated, do not return home until it is deemed safe to do so by the National Guard. Governor Henry McMaster after a meeting with President Trump has received a packet of initiatives that will be read shortly. As of 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, President Trump has declared the entire state of South Carolina under martial law until further notice. A statewide curfew of 7 p.m. tonight has been put into effect and any citizen caught outdoors between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. is subject to arrest and detention without counsel. All reserve military personnel and National Guard are ordered to report for immediate deployment. All law enforcement, firefighting and emergency personnel will be federalized effective immediately. All communication facilities including the use of landline and cellular telephone facilities will be reserved for military and rescue operations. Retain all ownership records of private property. Looters will be prosecuted with deadly force. This is the Emergency Alert System Details Channel. Regular programming of the station has been ceased to bring you the latest and critical information for your area. Current alerts. Administrative message. Civil emergency message. New information. Changes to watches and warnings.
windows, and vents. Do not drill inside your home. The fumes can kill. Never touch down power lines or anything touching one. Use one cup of bleach for each gallon of water to remove bacteria and mold. Washing your hands prevents illness. For more life-saving health-related information, call the CDC at 800-232-4636. This is Noah Weather Radio Station WXJ21 in Greenville. We are currently in severe weather operations. Many of our normal forecasts will not be played so that we may bring you the latest severe weather information. Normal programming will resume once all severe weather watches and warnings have ended. The local time is 1.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The following is a special weather statement. For the following areas, all of South Carolina, the following message is transmitted at the request of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention.